What? 
She is the 17-year-old sensation, Roxy! You know, Harlow sitting over there in that corner looking not impressed right now. 17 years of age. Still very young, and her career is Roxy, and I think Harlow right now is playing a bit of mind game. Well, here we have two very different athletes indeed. Very different strategies. Very different streaks. Oh! Strengths, excuse me, and weaknesses. It'll be interesting to see how Harlow O'Hara tries to exploit the youth and inexperience of Roxy and how Roxy is able to use that agility, that speed, that quickness. That to youth. Perhaps, yeah, and that youth <laughs> as well to perhaps get the biggest victory of her career here tonight. Harlow with a boom! Wow. Well, to say that she has the size and strength advantage, I think, would be an obvious comment to make, Matt Topolsky, but you also touched on it, the experience oh, advantage. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cover here, too. She pulled that out. She was like, I'm sorry, you say strength and size, and then she whips that out with the agility. And agility. agility. Yep. Yes, okay. <laughs> she has all three. She checked all the boxes. She did, immediately. And now Roxy, though, looking none too impressed by Harlow. I mean, you, you could say the youth and experience, maybe a little bit of arrogance, maybe a little bit of cockiness, or you could call it extreme self-confidence from Roxy. One thing I gotta give, strength. One thing I gotta give Roxy credit for, Brad Gilmore, and we, we saw this in her match against Ty Young at Ladies Night Out Five, is she's not easily shaken. I mean, she may be only 17 years old, but oh. I'm gonna tell you something. Oh. She handles herself like a veteran inside the squared circle. She absolutely does. She carries herself very well, and she outsmarted the veteran right there, which is no easy task. Ducks underneath. Reversal here. Roxy over the top, shot to the knee, shot to the other knee. Roxy build a little momentum here. Cover. Trying to make it a short night of work, but kick out at one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, oh, face first, oh. face first into that top turnbuckle. Roxy perhaps pressing her luck just a little bit too much. The crowd, though, is definitely behind Roxy. I mean, I don't know if everyone can hear this at home, but they are loving her and apparently not uh, loving Harlow too much. I guess the church isn't here. Oh, wow. Oh. Stretching the biceps, the triceps, the labrum, and the shoulder. Oh! oh. Harlow sometimes is pulling an energy from a source that we could not understand. Oh, sassy, just taunting the crowd. Well, it strikes me that Harlow O'Hara really doesn't care what anyone else has to say or think, and she doesn't care if the crowd's for her or against her. She's gonna go in there and she's gonna do what she does. And a oh, oh, oh my goodness! Oh, Absolutely. look at that. Absolutely, she is dismantling her. She knows that she can, and I think I kind of like that confidence. Couple. One, two, kick out right at two. We want to remind everyone for a behind the scenes look at Ladies Night Out 6, as well as other Title Match Network events. Check out flagsports.com. That's flagsports.com. It's culture. Cover here. One, two, and a kick out. That knee right to the jaw. Barbie Hayden. Early in your career, when you found yourself in moments like this, what did you do? What did you have to channel, if you will, in order to continue the fight? 
That advice for Roxy right now. You know, you really have to just change the energy. You have to turn your fears into your strengths. And right there, you just have to be cunning. You have to be smart. You have to be quick. You have to stay on your toes because you're not always going to be the biggest dog in the fight. Roxy Here we go. looking for a pin attempt. I actually started about the time that Roxy, like the age she is now, I started when I was 18 years old uh, wrestling. So I have definitely been in her shoes, and I let that fear overcome me several times. You just learn to not let it, like she's already doing. It's impressive. Oh, oh. Walks right into that power bomb. Center of the ring. That's got to be it. No, somehow Roxy gets the shoulder up. And I eat my words. Maybe she should have a little fear. <laughs> Absolutely. Harlow O'Hara was a little bit slow to get the full pin on Roxy, maybe giving her that extra second to kick out. Oh. Well, this is, uh, if nothing else, a true character building exercise for the young athlete, Roxy. Oh! oh my goodness! Slap the taste out of her mouth! Knock her into next week. Oh! Like, both ladies were on the same page, going for the same move, Holy knocking each other hell. out. Let me tell you something, folks. <laughs> I mean, I expected Whoa. one hell of a show here tonight, but I didn't expect this. I mean, we have seen it back to back, just pure good old fashioned fights here, trading blows, throwing caution to the wind, whatever it takes. Is this a pro wrestling show or MMA match? I'm not exactly sure yet anymore. <laughs> I, I have no idea, but I am fully entertained, and I do not even care. All these women this evening should be in an octagon after some of the strikes and maneuvers we've well, seen I'm telling in you, I mean, they are channeling something else entirely. I mean, this is uncanny what we're witnessing. Roxy, oh. Russian light sweep on top of the pin here. Perfectly executed kick out. Two and a half. What a sequence of maneuvers there from Roxy. The girl on fire, Kiara Hogan and Ivory Robbins still to come here tonight. We will see Kylie Ray in action for the final time at Ladies Night Out and so much more. But right now, Roxy looking for the biggest win of her career. Can she grab the brass oh. ring? Oh. Neck breaker. Oh. 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 I think Harlow's down. This I think this is it. Could be all. Whoa. What a close call. Absolutely, and Roxy knows it. She knows that might have been her opportunity, that might have been her chance. Right now, this is rookie mistake right here, in my opinion. You should not let Harlow O'Hara have any time to breathe. And that's exactly what she's doing. I'd have been all over again trying to wear her out even further instead of giving her time to recover. I'd like to see you go one on one with with, uh, with Miss O'Hara. Can we set that up? Yes. Catherine O'Hara? Yes. Catherine O'Hara, I'd love to. Home Alone's great. Oh, no! Oh, oh my oh. goodness! Complete devastation! One, two! Oh, oh, wow. How did Roxy kick out of that? Evades the three count and continues to fight. I can guarantee right now to everyone watching at home that Harlow's face is exactly how we look seeing her kick out of that just now. I have no idea how Roxy just kicked out. Oh. A lot of never say die attitude from all the women here tonight. There's Not letting any easy victories. Here from Roxy, she could do it. She could do it. No, kick out again. Seesaw battle here. Oh, wait a minute. As these two athletes try to steal the show as well. Here at Ladies Night Out 6, another two count. Oh, Roxy just grabbing a chunk of hair there, Barbie Hayden. I think she's starting to grab a little bit of that attitude Harlow was giving her earlier. Wait a minute, what is, oh, what is she thinking? Oh, It looked like she was going for a code red. It went for it, not successful, and now in a very precarious position is Roxy, Matt. Oh, she's looking for Oh, oh my goodness! That, that was the last Fisherman's fight. Brain Buster DDT lights out. And your winner, Harlow O'Hara. And introducing her opponents from Moon Creek, Georgia. She is Hell's favorite harlot. This is Priscilla Kelly. 
Godzilla Kelly debuted in WWE in August of 2018 at the second annual Mae Young Classic, where she was eliminated in the first round. I think no one was more surprised than she was. Certainly the wrestling world was surprised as well. But again, don't let that early exit from the Mae Young Classic fool you. Priscilla Kelly is one of the future stars of professional wrestling. And she's been lighting the wrestling world on fire. And how exciting is this for Roxy? Just 17 years old. Yet you would expect her to be as green as they come, but she handles herself with tremendous class, a great ambassador for women's professional wrestling. And I'll tell you what, she's been holding her own inside the ring. Well, here we go, a sign of respect, maybe. Roxy and Priscilla Kelly. Roxy has become a frequent participant in title match wrestling's All Women's Invitational Ladies' Night Out. Ladies' Night Out 7 right around the corner, August the 17th. If you're in Texas City, Texas, or the greater Houston Metroplex, get your tickets for that event. Be there in person. If you can't be, titlematchnetwork.com. The platform that you're getting your popcorn ready for right now, it'll be there in just a few weeks. Perhaps Roxy will be a part of that. From behind here, Hammerlock. See if Priscilla Kelly can perhaps show Roxy the ropes in there that she hasn't seen already. Helping her out there with her, her costume attire here. I mean, look at the great sportsmanship here from Roxy. Oh! Well, that's one way to pull the rug out from under your opponent, and the flowers are still standing. Shoulder block there from Roxy. Roxy's father normally attends a lot of her events. I don't believe that he's here tonight, but uh, was involved in a, uh, a unique and controversial situation recently with our uh, guest general manager who's here tonight. All the family rolls through, hangs on. Priscilla Kelly, that's what I'm talking about. She is as dangerous as she is beautiful inside the ring. Hell's favorite harlot putting it on display here at Queens of the Ring. Flying forearm into the corner. Rolls through, coming back. Roxy gets out of dodge there. One, two. Perhaps an early mistake there from the rookie, Roxy. Just barely out of her sophomore year in high school. And here she is showcasing on Queens of the Ring. It's, it's, it's a remarkable story. I mean, it truly is. An age old question when you're 17 years old, heading into your senior year, what do you want to be when you grow up? I can tell you, I have no idea. Roxy is focused, however. Priscilla Kelly here may be, may be injured, ladies and gentlemen. I think Priscilla Kelly here has suffered a knee injury. And Priscilla Kelly's gonna try and go here. 
one leg or not, I don't know if this is a smart decision. Perhaps live and fight another day here. Wait a minute, roll up, roll up here. She got her. She got her. Here is your winner, Priscilla Kelly. Well, one leg or not, Priscilla Kelly gets the roll up. Not sure whether or not she was actually playing possum. your ear for a minute. You have expert experience inside that ring. You have been a Diamonds champion two times over. Going up and down the road with everything that you have seen in the sport of professional wrestling, how impressive is it for a 17-year-old to have accomplished so far what Roxy has? I think it's very impressive. It goes to show how passionate she is. She started doing this when she was 13. 13, barely in middle school. I don't really know any 13 year olds that have started doing this at that age. It's just, she's willing and ready to do whatever just to prove that she should be our next Diamond Roll up champion. here early on, trying to get it done. Kick out of two and Brad Gilmore, AQA, is the youngest Diamonds champ in history. Hold on a second here. Nice bridge, reversal again, one, two, and a kick out. The youngest Diamonds champion taking on the youngest competitor perhaps we've ever seen here at the World Gym Arena. High stakes. Oh, absolutely, Matt Tapolsky. You got to think about this. Uh, for AQA not to get that automatic rematch at the Diamonds Championship, for her having to earn it, she might be a little bit perturbed by that. She might be a little bit annoyed that she lost her championship without having the champion's advantage in a six-way match. So tonight, she's going to come out here and probably be a little bit more aggressive. See, look, we're seeing it right now. She's talking a little smack. She's going to be more aggressive than she was prior. Oh! Roxy had that one scouted though. These two have trained together. In some respects, Roxy has looked up to AQA and they are testing each other early here. But has AQA taught Roxy everything she knows? I doubt it. Arm drag reversal there. Roxy over the top yet again. Oh my goodness! And a shot to the back of the dome that welcomes Roxy to the big time. One, Cover here, two. two. Oh man. She might have knocked Roxy back to grade school on that one. <laughs> and you know, when Roxy made her ladies' night out debut, the bars in the valley were filled watching the live stream here. At Title Match Network, you gotta believe it's happening again here tonight. Just a week ago, she competed at Summer of Champions. Many members of her family were right here in the front row. She did not win that Diamonds title, but a win here tonight oh, gives her the man. number one contender spot. And AQA is trying to put a stop to that. Cover here too, and a kick out. She's trying to make sure she didn't become the 18-year-old sensation. That was a hell of a back elbow right to the chin of Roxy. See, I was expecting this to be a friendly competition, but you know at some point, especially being in this situation for number one contender, somebody's going to have to end up being more aggressive. Right now it's looking like AQA. Absolutely. I think that, like I said before, Matt, I mean, AQA, she's upset. I mean, I, and I understand why. To defend your championship on the biggest stage in a match such as that where it's designed, it's essentially for you to lose. And also I would say that perhaps she... She feels a little insulted. I mean, no, no, no disrespect to Roxy. What she's accomplished so far is impressive, but she's got to be thinking, oh, oh, look at why that. Why do I have to wrestle someone that hasn't graduated high school yet to get my number one contender sign? Two, kick out. AQA bringing a little bit more heat than usual here tonight. Have y'all ever seen this side of AQA? No, I I've haven't. I've never seen no. it. No. She's, she's turning into another, she's kicking it up to another gear right now. Some big shoulders in the corner. Oh, 
That or she could have a giant black eye and a fat lip. Cover here, one, two. Roxy breaks up the pin, and the match continues. You are looking live at the World Gym Arena in Houston, Texas. This is Ladies' Night Out 7, exclusively on Title Match Network. Kiara Hogan is in action here tonight against Aja Perez. Thunder Rosa takes on the queen of House Rose, Rachel Rose, Harlow O'Hara, and Faye Jackson are in action. Ivelisse and Diamante in our main event and so much more. Don't go anywhere. What a night. And now Roxy trying to come back right now after AQA has been pretty much dominating this entire match, Ivory. Well, that's the thing. We have not seen AQA physically impose her will on an opponent before. She has done oh. that in the majority of this match right now. And this is a moment where Roxy really could grow up right before our eyes. What is going on here? And oh, wow. Aggressive Russian leg sweep rolls through. One, two. Oh, wow. my. Now that is a near fall. But AQA narrowly escapes, and the match continues. What's going on through your mind, Ivory, whenever you are in a match and you're being dominated? You can tell you're taking on a lot of offense. How do you get back into the game? You got to fight for survival. That's what it is, you know, especially with this kind of situation that's going on. Like, AQA, that's why you've never seen her do things that she's doing right now because she knows that she has to win this match to get a chance at her title again. Oh, look at that. Oh, I thought she was going to go with a innovative pin attempt there. Oh, and a wow. knee mat. That knee, top drawer, lands right on the jaw. That's got to be all. Wow. Astonishing that AQA could kick out. She does. But Roxy putting on her best effort here at Ellen 07. I think that goes without saying. And she's going to need it if she wants to beat a former Diamonds Division champion and do it at the age of 17 with roughly a year of experience under her belt. Sit out here from AQA to become the number one contender. No. Now AQA going up. Trying to figure out, getting up rather, trying to figure out what does she have to do next to put out the 17-year-old sensation. Oh, man, that might be one of them. Well, again, that's not something that we're used to seeing from AQA, but she's going to do whatever it takes at this point and hopes that Wait there won't minute. be enough collateral damage that they can shake really? hands and hug Here each other goes. after this. She's going to go for that shooting star press, Matt. It's a shooting star go. press that won her the Diamond Division title oh, when she faced the Renaissance woman high on. Roxy had it scouted, now what she's going for. Looking for some sort of suplex or DDT, but Roxy counters, Matt. Oh! That Lance could be all. face first out of that suplex position, cover two! Roxy! Oh. Roxy shocks the world! Wow. I am, I am still in shock right now. I am. I, I, I am, I am still in, still in shock. Okay, Thunder. West. Wow. What? Wow. The, the, Christy James added to this matchup. Yeah, she, you know what? She's actually originally one of the members that started with us in California in okay. Sabotage. Yes. So um, we're really happy that she's back with the fam. Okay, awesome, <laughs> awesome. And we, 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 truly, we truly have a, a, a definite mix uh, in this ring. We, we, let, let's talk, talk, let's talk, about, talk about Gino real quick. Recently just signed with ML, MLW. He's yes. he, he slated to start in November. He is truly the veteran in, in this ring right now. Um, He's such a punk. He just got out of the ring. <laughs> That's why I call him Pimpon. <laughs> he didn't believe me. I was going to call him Pimpon. What? Pimp, you know what Pimpon is? 
So in uh, Mexico and the Latino community, Pimpon is like a, a doll, like a, a, a man doll. Uh -huh. So he reminds me a lot. And I sing a song like called Pimpon es un muñeco. Yeah, he reminds me a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. Right. But yeah. now we have the three women in the ring. Okay, we, 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 we have Roxy, the 17 year old sensation. Oh. We just got kicked in the favor, Christy J. You know what? Christy has those like. Uh, those ways of the Mexican wrestling. She wrestles a lot in Mexico, believe it or not. Oh, yes. oh yeah, definitely. A lot. Her, her style is like very high flying, high yeah. flying, and like definitely the last two years, she's like improved her skills tremendously. Yeah, yeah. yeah she, she recently came, coming back off of injury as well. Well, well she's, she, she's come back and she's not missing, missing the stuff. Definitely make, making her trips down, down to Mexico. Oh, stiff fishing. kick to the face. Man, definitely making her, her rounds uh, with, 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 with Crash Lucy and definitely some of the other promotions in, in Mexico as, as well. Then we have Alex Gracia uh, coming off of the tour in Shimmer, um, possibly on the, on the rise of Shimmer um, spectrum as Man, well. you know, that's it, uh, another fun fact. I told her that she, I was going to say she, that she's every man's dream, the big dream. Whoa! That's a pillow kick right there? Yes, it is. No, that was not. No, it was an insecurity yes. from the second row. She's like ready to kick some ass today. Christy James, like Roxy, the 17 year old sensation. Yeah. Roxy says, don't sleep on me, even though I'm 17 years old. Oh, look at that car wheel. And she, oh. Hi. Hi, I'm so cute, I'm 17. What's up? You wanna wrestle? And she starts dancing. She's like, yeah, I wanna dance. What's up? Oh, Jarocha. Nice Jarocha. Say that again. Jarocha. They're doing some lucha stuff tonight. Oh my god, she just dived into Gino. You know, Gino still seated. He's like, you know, Gino, Gino today said to probably somebody, I am gonna go and just cash my check. I don't wanna work today. You know? I know he got in the ring with Christy. Now he's like, wait, he keeps he's playing the Playboy. He's like, give me your hand. You know, I'm cute. I'm the Latino heat sensation. Whatever he calls himself. Oh, he kisses her hand. Oh, isn't he That's romantic? Cute. <laughs> Somebody oh, said the funniest comment ever. Oh my! I'm, uh, I'm I so wanna die. Right I am done. I'm so done. This night has been too much. Now, now he's doing it to Rusty. She's underage. She's by the way. You cannot be kissing her hand. She is 17. Oh, but I think it's, it's legal in Texas, right? <laughs> Allegedly. Oh, nice. Head scissors. Oh. Well, Sorry. double, double Sorry. head scissors. And Gino just, it's all about that base, brother. Oh, she he caught, caught he, oh, she, she's done. Oh, oh, and she rolls an nope. egg. Oh, oh, nice bomb, nice, nice. Oh. And she kicks out, and Chrissy James was getting, and she's like, nope, I'm trying to get this championship right now. She's like, okay, Gino, it seems like we can go out, you know, I think I'm single. And, you know, now they're going into the poor 17-year-old girl. Yeah. Somebody's going to have to call CPS. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's 9 o'clock. <laughs> it's 9 o'clock. I only slept four hours. But I'm really happy that you're tuning in to watch Mission Pro Wrestling Genesis. You are indeed not watching a, a child being beaten here at Mission Pro Wrestling. You are not watching that. No, but she has a parent's permission. That's okay. In Japan, actually, fun fact, a lot of the girls start when they're nine, nine years old. It's, it's, it's exactly. Nine. And they have, I remember my first tour in Japan, some of those little girls, they beat the crap out of me. Oh, my God, she got kicked on the side yeah. rib. Ooh, I just felt like I was back in MMA camp. Yeah, it's all well, well and good to keep you in the face, right? I always have to be ready to protect yourself, you know? Keep your defense up. Now she's ground and pound, ground and pound. And Gino watches. I really think that Gino is like picking his spots right now. Oh, he is, of course. I mean, he's the only man in the match. He was like, oh my God, that was a stiff shot. Did, 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 did that just happen just now? Oh yeah, it just happened, yes. It sounded like when I'm eating celery and just like, it cracked like that. It was crunchy. It was a very crunchy chop. And Chrissy James is just applying heat to her. Oh, that is a Mexican like chop right there. She's learning you know, all of that in Mexico. All these chops are in this contest. I think you're missing in this, in this match because I know that's one of your trademarks as well. Yeah, it is. 
Oh, she just chopped her. Christy just chopped her. She's like, don't touch my man. And Alex is just still out. Where is she at? Oh, he drop kicked her again. Let's see what Gina's gonna do. And she don't on the third buckle. And I think Roxy just saw the light. One, two, kicks out. That is vicious. I think Gino gave me that one time on Inspire Pro Wrestling, and I did not like that. Oh my face didn't like that. It just went one of the many things that made face it like Gino, like one of the most sought out the folks in, in the wrestling business right now. And MLW was definitely deep in the gym when they, when they signed this guy to a contract, I'm telling you. Yeah, I mean, definitely Gino has grown a lot in the last couple of years. And I mean, things had, he had a, a WWE tryout. And um, and he's doing well. The same with uh, Alex Gracia. She had a yes. WWE tryout. She's been in Evolve. I think she just signed for Evolve. Is that, am I correct? Or she so, just a participant in Evolve? She, she just had, had, had a match with, with Evolve. But yeah, she, 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 like, she's definitely on the radar as, as well. I, I was definitely, I'm biased. I'm, she, she, she's one of my favorites. I've, I've, I've seen her grow from, 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 from one day to where she is now. And she, she is definitely a hustler. She doesn't take no for an answer. And she works really hard. Well, right now, right now she's eating the fist from Gino right now. From both of them, you exactly. know? It's Christy James. But let's talk about Christy James. Christy James is also, again, in the map. She's worked for WWS Extra. Uh, she does a lot of stuff in um, uh, Crash and Chaos and Monterrey. She is definitely um, gets herself out there, you know? As the crowd chants for Roxy. Goes in that touches of Christy James right now. As she gets smashed into a steel chair on the outside of the ring. Referee didn't, referee didn't catch that. The referees, like, hey guys, come on, I'm knowing me what. Well, it, it, it is a fatal four way. Four Roxy four just way. took the floor. Oh man. She just took the post. Oh man. You know how hard the posts are? That, ladies and gentlemen, that is solid steel. That is solid steel that folks are running into. So, that's gonna, get, that's gonna give you a headache in the morning, I'll tell you that. Oh my God, she just got stumped in the hand. She's taking some heat tonight, man. She did. Double heat, not like one, double heat. It's pretty incredible. Both, both Christy and, and, and Gina, Grand Roxy, teaming up on the 17 year old. And now Christy's shooting Gino, Gino reverses. She oh, gets a forearm smash, and then Gino comes with another one. Rolls her to the middle, and the fans are not having it. And Gino very politely tells them to F off. Exactly. It's, 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 it's like, the, like the, the, the crowd the crowd's getting behind, getting behind Roxy a little bit. It seems like we're having like a little bit of bullying on the 17 year old right now. You, you, you bully on the small one, right? Exactly. That, that, that's, that's what's happening right now. Oh, my God. Sandwich is about to happen. Shoot Roxy first, then Alex, the pink drink. Roxy, bend her hair out. Then Christy Ooh. comes. She gets a boot in the face. And then Alex flies with a crossbody. Oh, oh. rolls him back. Casadora Stunner. Oh, stunner. He's fired up. She ducks that line, smashes him in the face. Ooh. Alex Gracia working with him like a team. Alex is going. 2 six, 1 0. 2 1 0. Roll pin. Kick. Ooh. Shiny Wizard in. He's out. The fans are having this, all of it. Now is Roxy and the pink dream. Oh, they're pushing each other. Like, what's up, girl? What's up, girl? Is, no. Great thing is, these two have, 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 they've been having a little bit of revenue themselves, ba battling over the Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh, my Black God. Those chops. Yeah, they all, she, yeah, definitely all or something. Ooh. She is getting her in there. And back, back, back up in the second row. Yes. It's just. And she is fire up. Fire, fire up. Now she's working with Christy. Christy does an up and over. Rolls back. Oh, nicely.
be done. Cold, cold breaker. Cold. Cold. Oh, oh no, she's going. She's going for the second. Oh, Christy Chase going for the cover. One, One two. two. Gino pops her in the face. I think Gino's gonna be the vixen, like that fan said. This, wait, a minute, wait, a minute, wait a minute. This, the, they, wait a minute. Look, this. Look at Christy. Look at Christy. Oh. She Christy is not, not having it. This Ooh. She just bitch slap him. Oh, my God. That beautiful kick in the head. She is out. Roxy comes. Ooh. That's his finisher. Oh. On to Christy James, ladies and gentlemen. Gina with the cover. And she kicks out. And she he goes and covers, and she kicks out, and he goes and covers Christy James, and she kicks out, and she's like, boom, in the way. Did you just see that? What? Did the ref just pull a Mexican move? Did you low, low, low him? That just Oh, uh, crucifix spin. Kicks out. Alex Rossi comes giving it get into Gary. Oh, reversal, reversal. Oh, nice. Nicely done. Kick in the stomach. I think it's over, baby. I think the 17 year old. One, two, three. We got a three count. Oh my God. We have a new champion. And, and your new RWR Vixen champion.
<laughs> Roxy, you ready? I don't think that guy's from Mexico. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Did you see the last oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 Come on, Roxy. One, two.
where's the family at now? Roxy, she needs our help now.
I think one of the things that many of our fans at home will discover about Roxy if this is the first time that they are seeing her in action is they look at her and they say she's 18 years old. She looks young, she looks innocent, she looks vibrant. Here's the thing, and I found this out a few weeks ago when she captured that Diamonds title. This young lady has a lot of guts. She's a lot of determination and when necessary, she has one hell of a means to it. And that is exactly it. Roxy, again, she's 18, she's young. She looks innocent, but looks can be deceiving, and there's a reason she's called the prodigy. You don't just pick that name. You are given that name. That is a treat that you get to have, and that is something she has earned, and now is the Diamond Division champion, and she's gonna prove here with Vanity exactly why. Vanity known as the bombshell of ladies wrestling competed in Women's Wrestling Revolution. Women of Warriors from New York, a seven-year veteran now in the sport of professional wrestling. And this may be a situation in which Roxy will learn a lot. Again, in combat sports, you have those wily veterans. You have the athletes that come around and they, they, they're the roadblock. They test, if you will young champions, or in this case, a prodigy. And I think that is exactly what lies before Roxy, and she's finding out right now that Vanity is a lot more nimble on her feet than she looks. And that's the thing is, again, looks can be deceiving. 
Vanity, you look at her and you think that she's just going to go in and ground and pound, but she can be a technical wrestler with the best of them. Trained by Pat Buck up in Jersey. I mean, she, she holds herself as a New York Jersey girl, and they have a lot of grit to them. I don't know if Roxy's getting out from that. Yeah, those legs, great find around the head of Roxy, but look at, oh my. Roxy, a bit of a Houdini as well. There's that edge. There's that edge I was talking about. I like it. I like it. It's, it's so good, and you know, again, it's unpredictable with her. Prodigy, magician. What else can we add to Roxy's list? say that contrasting styles make for great fights, and I think that's exactly what we have here. Vanity brings a lot of power to the table, but Roxy just brings that extra something, along with a little bit of grace, and, uh, and that right there, the spark. Yeah, that's, that, that's what I would call that, a spark. Control from the Prodigy followed up with a drop toe hold. Inside Cradle perfectly executed. Roxy right now writing the manual on offense and starting to take control of this matchup. I mean, how could you not be impressed with Roxy? I mean, oh. And I'm not sure what the official is doing here. There is no timeout in professional wrestling. I mean, and, I guess uh, Vanity persuaded him to give her a timeout. I guess he did. Yeah! Now the Prodigy dumped unceremoniously to the mat. This might actually help Roxy in giving her a little bit of a breather. Roxy pulls Vanity to the outside. And now going to work here. I think Roxy decided after that uh, mishap, if you will, with the official a moment ago, that uh, as they say, the emperor has no clothes. She is ignoring the man in the zebra shirt right now and just going to work with her own game plan. The prodigy. Double knees in the corner, missed the mark. Vanity rolls her up. Roxy slips out. Oh! See, that's that veteran in her. She knows. As much an avalanche as it is a lariat, kick out at two. Really, really good test for Roxy in this matchup here with Vanity. I mean, now being the Diamonds Division champion, being a youngest champion, she's got not just a target, but like a giant neon sign on her back. And everyone's gonna be gunning for her. And this is a chance for Vanity to say, I beat your champion. It would certainly be a very bright feather in the cap of Vanity. Right, Vanity taking pride in the fact that she has put a sleeper hold on the Roxy fans in attendance here at Ladies' Night Out. She definitely sucked the air out of all of those fans that were gunning for Roxy. Second suplex in a row from Vanity. Beginning to impose her will, if you will, on the 18-year-old prodigy. For 
for Roxy herself, this is, oh. Yeah. This is something she has to get used to, though. If she's going One, to continue, two. continue to be the champion, she's going to have opponents like this that are going to be out for blood. No question about it. Every single one of them coming for the queen. What better way to make a name for yourself than to end the momentum and the story of Rock C in 2020. Pulls the rug out from under Vanity. Double knees to the face, and now Roxy going for broke here. One, two! A narrow escape from Vanity, but it is enough to force a 10th inning in this encounter. Roxy looks like she's getting a little frustrated here. Roxy is not going to overpower Vanity. I was going to say, as much as tenacity as Roxy have, I do not think that she can lift Vanity. Oh! And that is called the cookie cutter, courtesy of Vanity, and it will have Roxy singing tenor when this is over. One, two. But the prodigy wraps those five digits around the bottom rope, and we're headed to an 11th inning. That hurts, by the way, just so you know. And you see the crowd chanting ring awareness. That's exactly what this prodigy has, is ring awareness, to wrap her hands around that rope and save herself. Roxy looking like she doesn't know what to do anymore. How can she keep Vanity down for a three count? Roxy at this point just needs to stay on Vanity. Vanity looks rattled by the 18-year-old prodigy and this flurry of offense, which has turned into a blizzard. Roxy shoots through the ropes, looks for a schoolgirl. Knee to the jaw. Roxy lays her out! But can't she roll Vanity over here? Hooks both legs, two, three! The Prodigy with the dub. the lead here, the first 
And I think very obvious observation that one could make is the look of disdain written on the face of Heather Monroe. What, what, is, what is Rachel Rose doing out here? Yeah, that's a great question. What the hell is Rachel Rose doing out here? Rachel Rose cheering on Heather Monroe here. Is she? Rachel Rose made her in-ring return earlier here this afternoon, but uh, she's not scheduled for action. Oh, she's taking a fan's chair right now. Well, a loyal subject just handed Rachel Rose a front row seat to watch this match. I don't know what her business is out here. Seems shady. Just saying. Well, this much I agree with. And now a member of the staff is handing Rachel Rowe the Hurricane Pro Championship. Well, now that we've gotten all the arbitrary things out of the way, this is a compelling matchup. Heather Monroe has walked the path in many respects that Roxy has been walking for the last year now. And that is coming out of nowhere as a young talent, developing herself, traveling up and down the road across the continental United States, building a very respectable brand for herself. Roxy now doing the same thing. Like trains passing in the night, two incredible talents. It is indeed, it's like mirror images. Um, I would have to say that Roxy is still a little bit more humble, a little bit more Mm -mm, nice, as it were. Not saying that That's Heather is, I think. you know, rude, but, you know, Roxy has a little bit more integrity, I'd say, still at this point in her championship ring. I would say that Heather is a much bigger fan of her own work than Roxy is of her. <laughs> is that being diplomatic enough for you? I think, I think so, yeah. I, I still think we're calling it down the middle. Chain wrestling here in the opening moments as both Heather Monroe and Roxy feeling each other out here. Wrist control now from Roxy. You know, as you stated earlier here this afternoon, they don't call her the prodigy for nothing, Brittany. She has established herself as a true contender. Heather playing a little mind games with her, it seems, as she's trying to assert that dominance. I feel like she might be overcompensating because I feel like she misjudged Roxy as a formidable opponent. what Roxy at 18 years of age is capable of inside a squared circle. I, I couldn't possibly explain to you what the hell I was doing with my life at 18, but it pales in comparison to the accomplishments we have seen from this young lady in the last 12 months. I agree 100%. I mean, look at that. Just knows how to get around an opponent for move for move. temper there, but as she should. Oh! That's the spark! That's the spark! From 
the D squared champion herself. If you want to go tit for tat, you're going to get what you, what you deserve. Roxy now walking that tightrope. Radici head scissors trying to come around over the top. Heather Monroe's got to find her sea legs and quick. There is no Dramamine at ringside. Back elbow from the Prodigy. Heather is not in a good space right now. Roxy treating Heather Monroe like her own personal wrestling buddy. Cover here, kick out at one, but Heather Monroe needs to slip out the back door and grab some fresh air because Roxy is pouring on a cavalcade of offense and right now. Look at this, Roxy not wasting any time. She's going to go after her. She doesn't care if it's in the ring, out of the ring, in the back, wherever. We're gonna need to get some barbecue sauce for those chops. Oh! I mean, I hope she has health insurance because when Roxy's done with that face. I'm telling you, when Roxy comes through the curtain, you can't tell, you can't see it. But this young lady has a mean streak in her. She indeed does. It's like that slap. One, two, kick out. It just flipped a switch. It's like Jekyll and Hyde. On the Monroe, desperation, short arm clothesline, and then admires her work. One, and that kick out there at one is the direct result of Heather Monroe admiring her own work and not going for the pinfall. Indeed, that can hurt you a lot of times in the ring. You gotta be quick and pounce on that opponent. Oh! All right, so we're out of barbecue sauce. That is a dry rub right there, Texas style. That will leave a mark, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! And to add insult to injury. Well, we are seeing both athletes right now broadside each other with some impressive offense. A kick out there from Roxy, who grabs the small of her back, favors her sternum right now. She is taking some serious damage from Heather Monroe. I will say, as much as Roxy is a spitfire and a firecracker and has that switch to flip, Heather is a champion for a reason. Roxy is a champion as well, although she is much younger in that string of title defenses than Heather Monroe has been. And Heather Monroe has a lot more time up and down the road here, but perhaps Roxy can prove once again here tonight why she is called the prodigy. This is a seesaw war between these two. You know, and maybe this match would have ended already in Roxy's favor, but maybe because Rachel Rose is out here as Heather's cheerleader, maybe that's keeping her going. Row looking for a pile driver here on the ring apron. Wood and steel. Await the loser of this exchange. It's the hardest part of the ring, I'm told. Uh, I, you know what, I've, I've heard that. Excessive boost to the head. Oh! Both of these athletes right now are just pressing the self-destruct button. I, I mean, this is intense. This is so intense. And again, this is not the first time they've wrestled today. 
And I don't blame Roxy for taking a moment. She needs to breathe too. You don't have to look closely to see the bruises painted on both Roxy and Heather Monroe, the vestiges of war on display as we get to a nine count and both back in the ring with a split second to spare in what has emerged into a pier six brawl here at Ladies Night Out Nine. This is incredible. This is main event status with these two. I, I'm baffled. I think not even she realized existed. That primal scream, she is pulling everything out of her body to get through this match right now. Roxy, Russian leg sweep straight to Moscow, two, no! Kick out at two and a half. Wow. This is ultra marathon Olympic style athleticism from two finely tuned female athletes who should be damn proud of the effort they're putting in here tonight. Roxy downstairs. Roxy upstairs. The house collapses. Will it be enough? No, no. A near fall of near falls, but this match continues. And Roxy. How Heather is still kicking out is beyond me. It, it's And beyond Roxy, who looks visibly yes. frustrated right now, and for good reason. Indeed. Monroe now trying to finish the prodigy. There is nothing but fumes in the gas tank at this point, and somehow Roxy is still kicking out. Crowd still behind Roxy. This is a home game in many respects for the girl from the Valley. But the Valley girl looking to close the door here too. That code breaker doesn't crack the code, only two and a half. Now Heather Monroe here. Driver center of the ring there, Michinoku style. And Roxy kicks out of the move. How? And gave Heather Monroe the Hurricane Pro Women's Championship. How? How? It... No one can believe it. More so than Heather Monroe herself. Uncanny effort from both. Come on, and now Rachel Rose. What are we Rose. doing? You can't do that. You can't. Rachel Rose serving up that gold on a silver platter. Oh! Heather Monroe with an assist from Rachel Rose decides to take the easy way out. And no pun intended, belts Roxy across the face with that Hurricane Pro Championship. One has to get the sense that Heather Monroe knew that she couldn't cross the finish line one-on-one -on -one against Roxy. Indeed, it, that was an act of desperation. That was an act of saving face there. Roxy did not deserve that as this match was going to end probably with Heather Monroe being pinned, let's be real. 
Well, we hope to see a return contest between Roxy and Heather Monroe. Once again, it'll be interesting to see whether or not Heather Monroe will agree to that contest, considering the performance we saw here tonight from the prodigy, Roxy. Get him, champ. 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 Get
I love David it. and Goliath going on it. here. Like, if David and Goliath was this amazing all women's show match, it would be this match Frickin right a, here. Frickin' A, yes. I feel like this is the proper David and Goliath it right is. here. And I gotta go with Goliath, sorry. Really now? I, I, I like the big girls, what can I say? Prodigy, prodigy. Oh, in the crowd, there they go, prodigy. We've They're had we've had about a we've had about a 50-50 going on here when it comes to you know the crowd, crowd with, with being right. Determined. Getting that loud bell ring. Our I don't feel like genocide is going to be phased by this crowd at all. I mean, right? look, at see, this. look at this. Look at this. But you know what? looking down to Roxy. But Roxy's still standing her ground. Right. That's impressive. I gotta give respect. She ain't, she ain't backing down. Oh, oh. Genocide pushes her like, girl, bye. That girl, shove bye. almost knocked her. And back. it wasn't even, it was like a play shove. Yeah. It's like, come on. Look and at that. Look at that strength. That's a real come on. Shove. Come on. I don't know. Roxy ain't ready. She wasn't ready. You better get ready, Prodigy. I mean, how do you get ready for an opponent like this? You don't. I'm just sorry. As a powerhouse, you don't. You better have a wing, a prayer, a spare tire, everything. Roxy has behind, but it don't look like it's affecting genocide at all. Genocide threw her from the behind. Come on. Come on, Prodigy. She just shrugged her off. She shrugged her off, wiped her shoulders off, dusted it like it was nothing. Oh, my God. Is that yes. 16? Hashtag chop night. Hashtag chop night, chop count. I think we're at 16, folks. I'm going to say 16. Shoots her over. Roxy goes up and over. Oh, and that was 17. Giving her chop 17. Right back, showing 18, we're at 18, out, folks. But can you take it? And surely, genocide can take it. She took it. She ate it like it was nothing. Oh, knees to the gut. Oh, She's tossing Roxy like a literally rag throwing her across, across and out of the ring is Roxy. Just side ain't even phased. She over there stretching, Look like this it. ain't nothing. Literally treating Roxy like a rag doll. Yeah, that's your David there, folks. I told you, go with Goliath. Go with Goliath. I don't know honestly how Roxy is gonna take her out. I she, think has to, she has to get her off her feet somehow, and I don't know how you do that. Roxy's trying to think of a game plan right now outside. Oh, there she goes, a little. See, you have to use the ring to your advantage at this point Roxy's when you're dealing quick, like somebody. Though. Roxy's gotta be quick. You gotta take a move and keep going. Oh. Yep. Yep. Now with a powerhouse like that, genocide catches her easily, easily, easily and tosses her up on her shoulder. I mean, carry uh -oh, her. Uh-oh, Roxy. But that's to the slip thing. out. Kick to the gut. Roxy better stay on or keep going. But that's the thing is that even though Roxy is little, she be fierce. That's some Shakespeare she be, for you. She be fierce, y'all. Oh, uh -uh, not today. But she don't be heavy she, enough to throw she genocide. She be fierce, but she ain't got no weight. She ain't got that weight. Genocide got that weight. And it's showing it easily. You do Roxy have to give credit for Roxy, though. I mean, this... I'll give her credit for not giving up and putting up a fight. Oh. Come on. She ain't got that weight. And she getting Picking that work. Her up she ain't by got that weight. And she getting that work. Literally by the head. What did I say, folks? Goliath. And just tossed her down. Misses the clothesline. Roxy oh. trying. 
managed oh. to get the bull case of Dora arm drag on her. Using that momentum. Genocide looks a little surprised. She didn't expect that. I mean, that's the thing is there is scientific, you know, Newton's law going on. All if right, you can get right, that force the going. Now. There is a science to wrestling, as I've heard. Something right. about gravity, matter, and, you know, Well, space, right to the division. turnbuckle. That's no science needed oh. there. You know that hurts. That was gravity coming down. That is That's science right there. What, Barely a two count. What goes up must also come down. True that. We be, we be scientists. We be science mathematicians. We now both have PhDs in this. Boom. Roxy got a up. Oh, Roxy got her in a little choke hold there. I mean, this is the best counter that Roxy can do, being able to try to wear Genocide down. I don't know, but Genocide looks like she's coming out of it. And takes, oh, oh my goodness, Roxy out of it into a suplex. That, that, that strength, was aggressive. I mean, literally strength, shook though. the entire ring. That strength, though. Can I say, oh, and just wailing on her, wailing on her. She better watch out. She's going to get disqualified. Genocide not even looking to it's only cheating. It's cheating if you get caught now. The ref is looking right at you. Come on, Genocide. I mean. Cheat when the ref ain't looking now. She Do doesn't better. even. Do she doesn't matter. I mean, I think she could take on the ref. She could, but that ain't, ain't going to win no match. Now she's just showing off her power. Walking around the ring holding up Roxy. Having all that blood rush to your head is not going to help Roxy think any better it in this not. match. And now she's squatting one. Come on. I, I got to give some claps. Up. Oh, off the ropes. Oh, oh. and a low crossbody. Into a pin. All of that weight. I'm surprised Roxy that was, was able to kick out. She finessed that. That low crossbody into a pin. I mean, yeah. I give it up to Roxy for kicking out. I don't even know how she's still in this. I. Because Jenna is putting that work. I don't through. understand. I don't know if it actually is quite smart for Roxy. She might as well have just kind of laid there. No, but she, like you said, she, she got that fighter. A prodigy. You're not going to give up. No. Oh, an old oh. school camel clutch. She is deep in there. And that's the thing is Roxy's body isn't that long, so that is oh. putting so much she pressure on that little her. spine. She is stretching her out, too. Roxy's fighting it out. She's, build, she's building off this crowd. I mean, Building some momentum. Jaw jack right there. That's the thing is our Jenna Van Muscles, as she's formerly known now, genocide. I mean, she was called the She-Hulk, the bionic beast, everything. But this new and improved rage that she has. Oh! oh! Genocide just took herself out. Might add to that. Might be her downfall. She <laughs> might be. Tried to go after Roxy. Right into the pole. This is the thing is Roxy. Uh -oh, Roxy's oh. up. Where are we going Looking here? Dive. Roxy oh. dive out into the front into row. The Roxy, and Roxy is fire. back up. Yes. Into the crowd. And just like that, Roxy is back on top, y'all. Social distancing out the window at that point. I mean, hey, she's coming flying at you. The crowd tried to move. I mean, the crowd did a really good job. They were more prepared than, than Genocide was at that True point. True that. The crowd was ready for the social distance. And Jenna, not, not so much. No. Roxy on top now. She's got to stay on oh, her. She can't, she can't waste time. She can't waste time. Oh. Oh. Beautiful DDT there. The Jenna Van Muscles getting right back up. Back up, but not for too long as Roxy stays on top of her. Will this be enough, head. though? Still a strong kick out. Genocide is back up almost before Roxy. How is that possible? I mean... Oh. Roxy trying to fight her off. But she, that's, just, that's just pure raw strength right there. Oh! oh! And a big splash. Complete splash. Her whole and now she body. hit the spear. For a suplex, snap suplex that right That beautiful there. snap suplex. And just like that, Jenna Van Muscles is back on top. Roxy folded forward like a piece of paper, just crumpling under Genocide's Oh, moves. that was beautiful. That was poetry. Thank was poetry you. Right Thank there. you. Good, good one. I'll write you a haiku later. Oh, look at you. Oh, choke slam. And this has to be it. If she Roxy kicks out, I don't. I didn't, I, okay, I didn't think she was kicking out of that one. Roxy folded like origami. Oh, she's coming with the hit. Crumble like paper, folded like origami. Beautiful, beautiful part of it.
She is the prodigy, Roxy. Oh, look at that. Already, Alejandro the Lion just goes straight to work. Just furious action between these two ladies. No love lost. Last time we saw them at VIP uh, VIP Wrestling, uh, Roxy and Alejandra did not uh, <clears throat> not get along well at all. Look at that suicide dive by Roxy. The prodigy not even out of her uh, entrance attire. Look at, oh! Oh! It's a no disqualification match, so anything goes. Alejandro the Lion catching Roxy with a kendo stick as she went for another suicide dive. And now the Lion with, I'm not going to say razor sharp claws, but they are pointy and unpleasant looking. Oh! Roxy slamming the head of the lion into the steel guardrail. The lion firing back with a forearm shot. Ooh, big jump by Alejandro the lion. Staggering Roxy. Ooh. Alejandro the lion throwing Roxy's spine or back into that steel guardrail. Roxy... Firing back, some offense bouncing uh, the lion's head off of the, ooh, the apron and uh, those steel steps. Ooh. Big vicious forearm to the back of Rock C. Alejandra. Oh, look, oh, just, just swinging Roxy into that steel guardrail. It kind of looks like she, from, from my vantage point, standing, is it standing on Roxy. Not, uh, not a pleasant sight. Alejandro the Lion throwing Roxy into the ring. Oh. Big double axe handle pinfall, only one. And the lion stalking her prey, double chop by Roxy to break the hold and then a forearm shot to the back, drives Roxy to the ground. Roxy firmly in the control of the lion. <clears throat> Ooh! Big body slam by Alejandro the lion. Pinfall attempt. One, two, only two. Roxy firing back. Roxy rushes in, grabs Alejandra, whip reversal. Oh! Alejandra trips up Roxy. Ooh! Ooh! Pin for one, two. Alejandro the Lion not very happy in the face of our referee. Roxy hooks a leg. One, two, only two. Alejandro with a kick to the leg, staggering Roxy. Roxy rolls to the outside. 
Alejandra the Lion stalking her prey. Retrieves that kendo stick. Ooh. Just pummeling Roxy on the outside. Ooh. But Roxy firing back. Gets her hands on the kendo stick and says, good for the goose is, I guess, good for the goose. Roxy just, look at this, just pummeling. <clears throat> Apparently lost control of the kendo stick, went to check on a fan, and then went right back after Alejandro the Lion. Lion. Breaks free, big kick to the midsection. Oh, what is she going to do here? Ooh, knee to the side of the head, and again, <clears throat> and again. Roxy dazed on her feet, but manages to fire away with a forearm shot, dazing Alejandro the Lion. The Lion goes, ooh, caught by Roxy in a waist lock. Looked like she was going for maybe a German suplex. Blocked. Oh! Suplex on the entranceway. Alejandro the Lion to her feet and looks to be dragging Roxy down the stairs. Ooh. Big stomp. Lion throws Roxy into the ring. Lion brings out the steel chair. Remember, there are no holds barred in this no disqualification match. Any implement of doom is uh, <coughs> is welcome. <laughs> and someone is throwing a twisted T into the ring. Alejandro the Lion grabs the tee. Oh. Oh! Goes to pour it on Roxy. Roxy claims it. Smacks her in the head. One, two. Roxy. Catches a knee to the midsection and another courtesy of the Lion. Oh! Submission applied. Roxy trying to find a way to battle herself free. Freeze her arm. Elbows to the midsection. Breaks the hold. Sets the lion up, but the lion blocks. And again, oh, look at this. Alejandro the lion battling with everything she can. Oh, oh my goodness. Powerbomb by Roxy. Whips the lion, ooh. Rushes in with a back elbow. And a European uppercut. And now Roxy has claimed the chair as her own. Tosses the chair to Alejandro the Lion. Lion catches and... Oh! Roxy drop kicks the chair into Alejandro the Lion. Oh! Yeah. 
Well, under the line, making a good use of the furniture as she stalks Alejandro, or as she stalks Roxy. Big forearm shot. Alejandra rushes in, catches a boot for her troubles, and the lion is dazed. Roxy pitched up and over. The lion goes for a punch, blocked. Hot shot by Roxy as she climbs up to the top. High risk maneuver, oh! Pin for one, two. This capacity crowd getting behind Roxy. Alejandro Lyon hanging on for everything she's worth. Big right hand to the face of Roxy. As Alejandro whips her into that middle, uh, middle rope. Knocking the wind out of the prodigy. Oh. <coughs> the lion swings and misses, bounces off the turn. Ooh. Cracks the, or has her head cracked on Roxy's knee. The prodigy with a leg sweep. And look at this cross face right in the middle of the ring, wrenching back. The lion doing everything she can, clawing, scraping, everything to try and reach some form of rescue, but this is a no disqualification. You cannot grab the rope to break the hold. You either submit or you don't. Look, what's, what's going on here? Nastico is seen running, there he is. Oh! I mentioned it earlier, where was Nastico? And was that really a double axe handle? Goes for a punch, blocked by Roxy. Oh, and slaps the color right off his mask. <clears throat> oh no. Oh, the lion smashing Roxy's head down. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match, Alejandro the Lion.